Yeah. yeah, what is that? You see, once in a village, there was a family who were very poor. So they had a friend who who is a like a businessman. He travels from village to village selling his goods. So one day he had visited them and he had told them he'll stay the night over. So when he had gone to their place, <coughs> staying the night over means like he has to be fed, he has to have a place to stay. So what happened was these people were so poor, they didn't have anything in the house to like you know to feed. Feed him or like give him. So uh, they told him to wait. The wife went inside. She didn't come out anymore. And then the husband went inside. He too didn't come out. The businessman was keeping on waiting outside. Time went by till evening. Then these are the places, man. Wow. So what happened was actually. Uh, the the husband and wife had taken their own lives. First, the wife had taken her own life because she was <laughs> so ashamed she couldn't, you know, feed. Uh, feed the because he was a good friend. So the husband also, after seeing that, he also took his own own life. When the businessman went in the kitchen, he saw no that both of them were dead, and then he saw the empty sort of uh, rice box. You know, we have a box uh -huh. where we keep rice. The pots and pans all empty. There wasn't a fire going on. So he understood, no? Yeah. That these people must have taken their own lives because of shame. Right. So that's where, uh, after that, the whole locality came to know about it. Even the businessman getting scared, no? In case he gets blamed for killing them, uh -huh. he also took his life. Oh. So, after that, the. the Villagers with the king and everybody, they made it a point that you know the poorest of poor should have at least something to you know share the guests. Uh -huh. So that is how the betel nut, betel leaf, and the lime came into being. And the lime. Yeah. So now they say whenever you eat this. That red thing comes out to remind us, you know, of the death that oh. had taken place. And that's what they they chew now yes. and everyone... So now, every, any khasi house you go to, they will always offer you betel nut and betel leaf first. Uh -huh. Before tea or before anything, no? Huh. So it's become like a tradition for us. Custom. That's fascinating.